What's good you guys? It's your boy Jay Freshman back again with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do like counter melodies and it's pretty simple too. Like this is pretty um simple once you get the hand of it. So let's just jump right in. I got this all scale kit. If you've been following me on IG and YouTube lately, you'll know that um I talk about this kit, man. You know, you could just easily let's say grab a scale, one of the best minor scales. Um let's start off with I'm going to do D minor. All you have to do is just drop that into a sampler and then boom, everything is mapped out for you for about like four bars. And you know, that's good. You feel me? And then if you want it to be eight, you just do control B boom fast rather than you having to go through and, you know, click in every individual shit. Yeah. That's tedious. This, you know, you could go on my website and cop that link below. In the description you know just for convenience like I'm all about always saving time you know I don't ever want to be if something's out there that does what I need I get that make my life easier anyways let's um load up a Nexus you already know let's get some pianos going you already know I love my pianos so now that I have my um D minor scale Shit. Shit loud as hell. Turn that down. All right. So I seen this off of um, KBZ video. Most of y'all may know um, who he is. Either way. So damn, shit still loud. All right. So what he did, and I don't know if he like was talking about um, like when he was doing the video, it's like he kind of skipped past this part, but I noticed something. Like he kept all these notes the same, right? No, actually, he did talk about it. He said to keep like your second part. Okay, so let's say you was making a chord, right? Let's say you started on A and you pretty much just doing uh, A minor, right? Let's say you had it like that. The second note will be the one that stretches across the um, piano roll, and then you just kind of fuck with the um top and the bottom so let's see let's put that to the test <laughs> i kind of like that one Yeah, I mean, it works out, you feel me? So that's another, you know, quick kind of chord um, trick that you could do. I would drop it down an octave, though. So the thing about counter melodies, so now we we can um, cut this part because the thing about counter melodies is that you want to not only be in the same scale. See, a lot of videos tell you, oh, this is staying the same scale, but then... All, even though you're in scale, some notes still may not blend together. So let's not just get complex and difficult with this shit. Just understand that part, right? So with the, with all these notes that you already have, this is what you will make your counter melody out of. And it will always work because like, you just shrink the scale, if anything. So let's look at the notes that we use. So we use A, C, E. A, C, F, and we use D. So that's the notes that we're going to use. All right, so with that, and see, and you, if you have your ghost notes um, option turned on, then you'll be able to see the background. And if you don't have it turned on, just easily go to this drop down arrow right here, and then go to your helpers. And then just press turn on ghost notes. And then let's get into this motherfucker. So the trick is you don't want it to obviously be on the same, land on the same spots. You feel me? The whole thing about counter melody is like, you know, in boxing, you know, when someone throws a punch, then you throw a punch. Or like you counterattack that, like you block it and you throw a punch. But it's not where you both are throwing a punch at the same time. That's not countering nothing. So it's like this note, this chord, right? I mean, this note right here 
is throwing this first hit and then you throw another hit after, not at the same time. As far as the beginning, you could start at the same time, but you just want to have either a faster rhythm playing with a slower melody or the opposite, you feel me? Like, obviously, playing the chords out, this is a slower melody, so you kind of want to go a bit faster, and you kind of want to do it in a different octave so that it doesn't clash, you know? But you don't want to go... So the thing... And I got to give you guys these side notes because... You got to think about the artist as well. You don't want to go too high. Like, you don't want to go into the seventh octave and, you know, a lot of singers or rappers can't even get their tone to that point. So, you still want to use the sound selection that's still important. So, anyways, let's just drop some quick melodies. And, see, I'm still in the same octave. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to the channel rack. I mean, to the options on the... um. Nexus and just change it from here so I could stay within instead of moving up here and not having you know the helpers. So, f like, pick these notes and then just kind of scramble it. You feel me? So, I'm still um, using A right here, still using G, and then I still got a few notes that I could pick from. I got one more note I could pick from, which is D. So, let's just go. And you can even just, the thing about beats today, man, um, it's really simple, man, because you got to understand the artist is the vocalist and the vocalist is the instrument. Understand that three phase, because a lot of you guys listen to beats these days and be like, oh, man, these beats are so simple. Uh, and, and you guys are whining about it. Like, dude, are you not paying attention to the time? Like back then, the reason why melodies were so complex in Mozart time and Beethoven they didn't have rappers back then you know or not to the extent that we have it at so who is really going to be hopping on a Mozart track you feel me especially when he's playing all these random rhythms and he's just going all crazy with it you feel me you got to understand the purpose of music has changed in commercial um usage so the way we listen to music and a lot of people start oh, I just got to go on this little rant. I'm going to get back to the video. A lot of people think that trap is so simple, but you got to understand, it really, this this whole simplicity came from pop music, I would say, because the, when pop music came out, they came out with these simple-ass chords and a simple-ass, like, formula for it, like the one four five you guys may hear about, you know? So understanding that background, trust, man, you'll, you'll start to understand simplicity and you will start to respect simplicity because now you're seeing that okay you're it's more of a collaboration now more than it is you just being in the crib with your fucking midi playing like mozart which you could still do that but then understand your purpose of music are you making it for people to get on or are you doing it like <clears throat> or are you doing it like for soundtracks for movies and shit so you got to kind of pick your lane let me get back to the video anyways. <laughs> so what I'm saying with this part right here, I kept it simple. And I could easily just copy and paste and then change a little bit out. Let's see what works. Nice. Like, this is such the, the quickest and easiest way to, like, do your melodies. And everything else will fall under these notes. Like, you could use other notes. Like, this is not a rule. Don't take this as a rule. Because there's no rules to music. I mean, as far as music theory, but then you could always break it, G. Like, like that's why I was bringing up that whole rant. Because you got to understand where music came from and where it's at now. Because... What Mozart and Beethoven did, they 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 added something new to the game, you feel me? And that's why they was um, you know, one of the top musicians of their time. So it's, this is not a set rule. Like I could still use um other notes that were in this um key. And to be honest, I think I used all seven notes. Um I used A, G, F, um, E. 
I didn't use B. So if I was to be in the A minor scale, I didn't use B at all. So or B flat if I was in the D minor scale. So with that, boom, we can make a third melody. All right. And um so now that you have and I dropped this one an octave. Um I don't know, it sounds better. Sometimes you could have it in this so really it's this melody is right here. If I didn't had if I didn't change it in the um Nexus option, this melody would be on top of this chord. And it's fine as long as the frequencies aren't clashing, you know. Like I said, sound selection is important. If it sounds right, it sounds right. But um so now that I have a faster and a slower, now this one could be where I just kind of fill in notes. Um and always do this shit by air as well, you know. So now that you have like your counter melodies, you could just easily um swap them out for different ones. I'm not gonna go too crazy, but let me just um show you guys. And then from there, you have your melodies, and you could go in um, and get all crazy with it. Let me just show you guys what I probably would do with something like this. Let me just see. Whip up something real quick. Render this out. Make unique samples so I could have it precisely cut. Probably reverse to see how it sounds. Sounds pretty dope. Let me see how it sounds faster though. I'll just keep it like that. Let me just add some drums real quick. And then you can even throw a counter melody, another counter melody on top of that. I'm just gonna put to um put together something quick. Like I said, I ain't trying to go too crazy. Obviously, you take your time and you um get it to your liking. Just kind of want to show you guys how everything will sound together. Ooh, I like that. The pitch of the hi hat is like that. The 
thing about FL20 that I just wish they just kept the FL11 channel rack. Like, FL20 would be perfect. Other than that, I'm still not going back to FL11. <laughs> FL20 has way too much perks. And I ain't talking about the sound. I like the hi-hats like that. Let's see how the snare will sound with that kind of pitch as well. out of the kick take that boom and that's your pattern bro like it's it's that simple i and like i said you could throw another type of um melody on top of it let's see um Let me just kind of copy it so we can just have an 808 to vibe to. you could do more to it but obviously that beat could obviously go somewhere with the right drums and probably another counter melody on top so if you like this video like and subscribe let your other producer friends know that you learned something new and like i said if you want the all scale kit to make your life easier just go to the um link in the description and it's man it's easy yo you just you have everything mapped out for you organized scales is where you find all the um the notes on a piano and then you could easily go through your diatonic um dorian all these kind of scales pick them out and it will be mapped out for you so peace